People make the assertion all the time that more guns are the answer. Guns in schools, guns in churches, guns in movie theaters. We have armed guards in banks, and banks get robbed every day, and people get killed in banks every day. So the, to the extent that people think that's the solution, I think you're dead wrong. But as we talk about law enforcement, we talk about having your back. Let me tell you what having your back means. We had a committee meeting about combating terrorist recruitment and about putting, dispelling the propaganda that comes from ISIS or ISIL. And I simply wanted an amendment that said, why don't we target sovereign citizens? And they shot me down. Well, let me tell you what sovereign citizens did in the meantime. They shot down three officers in Baton Rouge, injured another couple. So when we start talking about having your back, it's making sure that we have the intelligence and we focus on everything. We're smart enough to do two and three things at one time. That is to combat lone actors, to combat terrorism, to infiltrate cells and track them. But it's also to see what is the real threat to your officers and deputies on the street. And if you want to talk about your officers and your deputies, you have to talk about sovereign citizen that's killed more police officers than anybody else. But this committee doesn't want to talk about it. In fact, this committee went out of its way to ignore the issue. And let me just tell you about Baton Rouge as we talk about having our law enforcement back. You had one actor, one sick individual with a long gun. He was better armed than the police officers that responded. Because his long gun, the bullets would go through our police officer's vest. And our police officer who responded, responded with pistols that wouldn't go through his vest. So the question becomes, are we funding our police departments like we should? Are we making an investment in our law enforcement in an extent to help them protect lives? So as we do this today, and you still have to talk about the De Department of Homeland Security in, in this committee, Combine it with judiciary. We had two unfortunate incidents this week where, again, an African-American male was killed in an incident involving law enforcement. But we spend more time talking about whether Colin Kaepernick is standing for the American, for the national anthem. But we don't want to talk about why he's kneeling. So in this committee, we're having this hearing, which is not a new hearing. We have it all the time. In judiciary, the other committee with jurisdiction over something like this, we're talking about impeaching the IRS director. At some point, we have to be bigger than this, and we have to be focused on issues that we see, and no one is diminishing terrorist attacks because I think there's one common goal between everybody, and that's to figure out a way to stop them. But when you start titling our hearing with stopping the next attack, how do we keep our cities from becoming the battleground? Duh, wake up. It's been the battleground. It's a battleground on a number of fronts. But if we're going to truly talk about how we fix it, we're going to have to put the resources so that we can share intelligence, we can arm our law enforcement. We have to make sure we have the capabilities to stop an attack before it happens, but we also have to realize the magnitude of the incident gets exaggerated if the person has an assault weapon. So I will ask one question, and whoever wants to answer it, please have at it. The attack in Minnesota, where 10 people were in, tell me what that looks like if instead of a knife, he has an AK-47 or AR-15 with a high-capacity magazine. Does anyone want to? It looks like a lot of dead Americans that were simply shopping. And uh, I, I won't even respond to 
Mr. Duncan, because I, I don't think it uh, needs to be responded here today. And I respect this office and this institution. I'll just take the fifth. Well, leave it at that. Let, let me just ask this last question. Do sovereign citizens pose a real threat to your officers that answer traffic stops, serve subpoenas, and just walk around every day? I believe sovereign citizens pose one of the most significant threats to uh, civilian law enforcement today. Uh, a couple of years ago, I had one of my sergeants shot. He survived, but shot by uh, an individual who fancied himself as a sovereign. Many of these incidents that you have referred to, uh, in which there were lone gunmen, uh, if you delve into their background, you'll see that perhaps they, too, uh, subscribe to the sovereign ideology. If no one else wants to answer, I'll yield back. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sure, no